Matthew Lloyd, eight goals straight. Ten goals plus the margin. A miserable one for the Hawks tonight. They come here with such high expectations as we all did for a, a classic encounter. We've been treated to a classic performance, but it's been all one way. And it continues that way with the Bombers working it from Wellman to Jacobs. Uh, Bolton taking the mark. Gets it moving. Barnes in good position to take this. He actually ran under the ball instead. Oh, Lloyd, what is he bothering handballing for? Lucas. Quick snap. That goal is just off line. Lloyd's kicked eight himself. And if that was a goal, I'd be interested to see how many he's actually handed off. Yeah, we're certainly the, involved in, a few. in a couple earlier on. A dipper for those people who have just come home on a Saturday night and are tuning in. There have been some knee injuries. Yeah, yes. one to uh, Crawford, medial ligament at this stage. Also, might have a bit of an ankle there as well. Uh, of course, you've got Blumfield, look like a post to a Christian, and uh, that's the same sort of injury as uh, Joe Mercedi. And uh, Daniel Chick, uh, also a hamstring there. So, uh, three main players will, will definitely miss the next uh, two plus rounds. Tried bombing for the outer wing, bombing for Boya. But McGrath in his first game shows desperation equal to Glenn Bowyer's and kept it alive for his team. Jason Johnson become a prime midfielder for the Bombers. McGrath. A tenth kick tonight. Oh, that's a pretty fair effort. He hasn't had a full match by any means. Wasn't his best. Lord, as we said, playing in defence at the moment. Up the centre half forward. Great punch. Yeah, it was a terrific punch. And he goes back to get it again. You can see the desperation on his face, Aaron Henneman, the cheeks puffed out, the ball off for Pembroke, and that awkward style, he gets his man, and so did Dent. Well, he took the mark, if there's a free kick to be paid afterwards, it should be 50. <laughs> Gary Moorcroft just uh, getting the book out, sizing that one up for later on. He dearly loved to rub his face in it by kicking a goal, I guess. Was yeah. this 50 fish? Well, we should have a look at it again, Jared, because uh, it was a line ball for sure. But... No, look, that was a uh, contest. He had to go out the body. And uh, he's very good. made a good decision there. He's very good at uh, accentuating he any is. contact, uh, Moorcroft, isn't he? He is. He certainly is. Setting it up into the square, and uh, that was a no contest that time. Well, Nathan Thompson, that's his ninth mark for the night. He's kicked three goals. Yeah, all right. He's had 13, 14 possessions, so Ooh. pretty good output from the big fella. Brett Johnson did well in the end to get it away after an initial fumble. Tallis. Graham now playing up forward. <laughs> He's not, not getting any better. The traffic flows by Bowyer. Got the handball out. Barlow got clear. One of the other glaring differences is the... Oh, Barker's on the lead. Yeah, good mark. Is the coin handling, Jared? The Bombers are one grab, aren't they? Around their feet, even in the air tonight, they've been uh, fantastic. It's been a different class of skill, disposal skill out there tonight. And that's another issue, another positive, I think, that can come from the negative of uh, this evening for Peter Swab, that maybe they have to isolate skill drills under pressure and uh, get better at hitting targets, not when you're running around witches' hats, but... Uh, when you're in heavy one-on-one -on -one duels. It's so always of their own doing, isn't it, Jeremy? You, you feel like the decision-making has been well for Mark tonight. And that, that impacts on your, your disposal as well. I believe at least so, that. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Fish. Robert kicking in. Finds Lucas doing some of your best work late tonight, Fish, which is terrific. <laughs> Good to see you're still having a, having a crack late oh, in the last yeah. quarter. That was close to the line, just inside for James Heard. Just a lazy 23 possessions for James Heard. No goals. He missed his opportunity to kick a dead set easy one from 60, didn't he? When he, he should did. have loaded up the torpedo. It was all down. He has an obligation. Forster Knight gets it back for Heard. They all miss it. We're into the last minute, and that's probably the best news the Hawks have heard all night because this has been just an outstanding performance by the Bombers. Nothing short of outstanding. Under the circumstances, lost Bluffield earlier, a great player. 
every player they've brought into the team tonight has done a job, done a good job. No, no flaws in their game. It's, it's rare you can pick a flaw. And yet Hawthorne have, well, as we said on a number of occasions, got a lot of work to do as a consequence of tonight, Jerry. Yeah, no doubt. They'll be back on top of the ladder, Hutter. They are certainly back on top in the most conclusive way possible with it. Such an emphatic victory tonight. McGrath. Can they get one more? One more for the road for the Bombers. Maybe not. Norcroft having his own little battle with Tallis. Still time. You now the umpire, a bit of a spoil sport, calls for a bounce. Siren! It's all over. And we know there's a lot of Bomber fans here at Colonial Stadium. And they will go away very happy indeed. Comprehensive win. So many injuries. So many players not playing from last year's grand final. Up against the team that were unbeaten going into tonight's game. And that scoreline says it all. 18-14, 1-22. As does the faces of the Hawthorne players. 8-9, 57.